A quick new idea, daily, from the world's greatest TEDx talks. I'm your host, Atosa Leone, and this is TEDx Shorts. San Francisco stands as one of the most striking examples of an American city with a wide gap between its wealthy and impoverished citizens. Like other cities across the U.S. that are facing rapid change, many of the city's residents are suffering displacement. Donise Sandoval is a social activist and entrepreneur who decided to implement a change for the Bay Area's homeless population. Today, she shows how we should all work to better see and help those in need in our communities. When I was invited to do this talk, I learned couple of new things that I didn't know about San Francisco. Since 2011, growth and gentrification have unfolded in San Francisco at a furious pace. My neighborhood used to be part of the Western edition. With all of the ensuing change, it is now NOPA. Along the way, I watched as three of my neighbors, all gentlemen in their 80s, got evicted, start living in their cars, only to have those eventually repossessed. Around the same time, I took a cab ride that changed my life. As we hit the Tenderloin, which is a neighborhood in San Francisco with the highest concentration of homelessness, the cab driver turned over his shoulder and he said to me, welcome to the land of broken dreams. His words were so jarring that I stopped doing whatever I was doing, and I looked out the window. And for the first time, despite having been through the Tenderloin hundreds of times before, really saw people. And my first thought was that not a single one of them, when they were little, ever dreamed of growing up to be homeless. And yet, there they were. And that thought of them as children really pierced me, because at that time, My own daughter was five years old. If you live or work in San Francisco, or just about any community in California, or sadly, even in this country, you have likely witnessed the seemingly intractable challenge that is homelessness. Yet when most of us pass a houseless neighbor on the street, we look the other way. It's understandable. It's hard to reconcile ourselves to the suffering of others around us, especially when we feel powerless to help. That was me until that day, sitting in the cab, when I connected with the simple but powerful truth that these were people with hopes and dreams and fears just like mine. People who, because of one or two turns of bad luck and no safety net to catch them, just kept falling until they hit bottom. And so sitting in the cab that day, I decided I was going to try to help. A few weeks later, I read that Muni was retiring its old diesel buses. And I got this crazy idea as the bells went off in my head to take those buses and convert them into mobile showers and toilets for people, to do something good with something that people love to hate. (laughs) To me, the obvious need was, it was simple, but I knew that it was about so much more than just getting people clean. Because at the end of the day, a shower, something that we almost all take for granted, connects us with our sense of self and with our dignity. And dignity is a big and powerful concept, and one of its meanings is a sense of pride in oneself and self-respect. Homelessness destroys your dignity and your sense of self-worth. It makes you invisible and unwanted. Being seen is something that we all need and long for, but it is particularly important to our houseless neighbors. We see it in our work every day as it helps them persevere through seemingly unsurmountable challenges. And we call the way that we work radical hospitality. 
It's radical because this level of care is rarely extended to people moving through homelessness. We believe that raising the bar on how you serve people is revolutionary. Hospitality, because it's rooted in generosity and our shared humanity, we go as many miles as it takes to ensure that our guests leave feeling better than when they arrived. Underpinning it all again is this concept of dignity, but this time defined as the state or quality of being worthy of honor or of respect. Because at the end of the day, dignity encompasses both the way that you feel about yourself and the way that you are treated. I believe that radical hospitality can enter, offer an antidote to some of what ails us. Imagine, for example, what might change if we turned toward a houseless neighbor, if we turned toward each other and offered our own small gesture. Of radical hospitality, and now imagine if that happened at scale. Which is why I invite you to consider conducting your own experiment in seeing by embracing and unleashing a little radical hospitality in your life. These are small things, but they can lead to transformation. And I believe it can start by choosing to see the invisible. The TEDx talk you just listened to was recorded at a TEDx event in Berkeley, California. All TEDx events are independently organized by volunteers who believe in TED's mission of ideas worth spreading. Special thanks to the organizing team at TEDx Berkeley. Want to listen to more TEDx talks? Visit our website at ted.com/tedxshorts. I'm Atosa Leone. Thanks for listening and see you tomorrow.